million millions of dollars in the victim's family have not partaken in none of those crimes. Took your role, gave it. Took your land, gave it. Hundred percent way to survive jail or prison. Don't go. But do you credit up? Why you need credit? Then 12 years goes by and you don't even get a chance to go up for parole. We moved in pairs. Supposed to die so many times because that's my afterlife. A lot of shit ain't work for me. Shout out to everybody out there, man, on Living Life After Life podcast with Banky Pan and Troy Catchmore. Today we are honored and privileged to have DMV's finest man, Young Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah we're gonna we gonna we gonna chop it up with him. We're gonna chop it up with him and get his uh get his perspective, get his uh ideas and get his um journey, man. You know, uh he's been putting in some work out there. I've been looking at him myself since I've been home. You know, I'm very impressed. That's why I wanted to have him on the platform, man. But we're gonna get into the the mind frame of a young crazy man. What's up with it? What's going on with you? <laughs> I ain't doing nothing. Staying out the way times 10. Man. <laughs> now, you know, I heard, because the first time I heard your stuff, you did a song, uh, 110 Jammers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you big, and uh, big, big Money Parent. Yeah. I was in yeah. prison. And the police pull it up while I was at work and showed me the video. I was like, what the hell are they going in? Yeah, it's not out on that joint. Yeah. yeah. Where was that, was that shot at? Uh, at? At a spot out Ocean View on the inside, and then we went to the BP uptown uh, Norfolk right there. But how, the how did that come about, though? Um, like, bro, best, I best, you know, when somebody else get, the, get in their way of going, if I ain't know, because I ain't know him before, right? Yeah. But, I seen this wave and I knew Flame already. Yeah. So when I seen he dropped the song, the Rover John, and he yeah. was, and everybody knew him and we had mutuals and shit. Yeah. Then I started, you know, I'm a yeah. supporter. I'm gonna post his shit. He yeah. posted my shit. And yeah. then it come out, let's do something. He sent me that John, I did it. We shot it. Like okay. I think we got like three songs okay. now. Okay. Sure. Well, shout out to Flame Blazing. Mm -hmm. That's the yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. So so, but, so but, let's yeah, let's go back to the beginning though, man. You know you know, before you got into rap, you know, uh, uh yeah. you know, you 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 was a college student or whatever. Yeah. So, you know, tell us, you know, about that transition, about how it was for you to be on the college campus and what, you know, changed your mindset where you was gonna take that and feel like you had what it take to get into the rap game. See like I'm like I'm just smart as a bitch. I always been smart. Like everybody from that's right. Hood, no, that's I'm right. From, that's I'm right. From, I'm from, uh, you don't hear too many rappers. That's right. That's, that's right. right. That's yeah. That's yeah. Some, that's yeah. Some yeah. Shit, yeah. 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 I don't yeah. hear too many rappers yeah. come out. But look, yeah. but they post. They post yeah. a flaunt. They post a flaunt there just like they flaunt their jewelry. Yeah. 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 yeah, I do that. I yeah. like that. So like. I'm from like the military circle side of Norfolk and shit. I'm from Stony Point and shit. So regular shit going to anybody hood, going out my hood, and I was outside in it. Right. I'm on whatever. But I was smart though. Like, I had honor on to like some grade. Like, okay. Smart, like, <laughs> so, okay. So, smart. So, rap. It was no way that. And then I liked this school. Like I liked to leave Norfolk. I went to school at like Chesapeake, Oscar Smith. So I liked to get into different environments around different women and different shit going on, bro. So. It was no way I'm watching everybody apply for colleges and I won't go into one. You right, know? right. So I went I went to Virginia State. That's the only school I applied for. I got approved. And just to get away from Norfolk for real, I wanted to get like, not too far, but you know what I mean? I went 30 away. And I just was out that shit. I, w I was doing it for a little bit. I liked it. I liked the school. And then it just, real life kick in like, you know, when you go back to, home. What year you go, went to Virginia State? 2010. What you uh? Okay, what you took? What, what was you taking? I don't know if you know Dr. Zoe Spencer, Dr. Z. Yeah, Dr. Z. Yeah, yeah. Hey, she, shout she, out she to Dr. Z. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Dr. Z. I just snuck in his class one day. Yeah. And, and sat in his class when she was the teacher. Yeah. yeah. That's the, there, that's the home girl. Like and she there. came into the prisons a lot and yeah. dropped a whole lot of knowledge. She used to yeah. come every Black History yeah. Month, yeah. drop knowledge on the fellas. Yeah, man. Yeah, big respect for her. Bird Farms, Dr. Z out Bird Farms out there. So, yeah, I got down. I was doing that, and then I just, I don't know, I, did, I was doing accounting, and I realized I ain't want to be no, like, every Wednesday, they made you put on a suit and shit to go to class business shit, you have to do that. Right, right. I wasn't feeling that shit, like, I never wore suits. I went to one funeral in my life, and I got so many dead home, but I don't wear suits. Right, right. So yeah. I wasn't feeling that during the time, mentally, I was like, but ain't no way I'm finna be doing this shit every day, like, for, for another nigga. So, counting the nigga money, counting the business, <laughs> yeah. get me some money, the whole time my people's need like i'm rather be home with them than right shit out with my family so after like two years of me fucking around i started rapping out there though yeah you know what i mean and then from rapping and 
getting the response I needed to say, okay, I'm finna rap, rap. Like, this shit working. Right. I left that shit. <laughs> so you mean to tell me? So you mean but I, I, I mentally graduated though, right? Because okay. years later they paid me to perform at their homecoming concert. Oh yeah, and yeah, for sure. Stage they graduated on. I was walking back and forth rapping my shit. Yeah, so yeah. Person, I feel like I graduated. Right. Ain't no question. Ain't no question. No boy, shout out Virginia State though. So yeah, shout out Virginia State, shout man. Uh, that's why I met I met you down there one time, yeah. chopped it up with you because uh, I I got a lot of homeboys that uh, went to Virginia State, man. Yeah. And uh, shout out to them, man. One my one homeboy, he was the all time leading rush up there, man, from like twenty five years to somebody right. broke his record. So shout out to Vaughn right. Allen, man. But look, he said a main piece because I was just talking to uh, my little brother TT and he said, for, you know, for my gala, and he was like, man, I, I put that suit on for you, man, but you know, I don't like to. That don't make me feel like a, I'm going to a funeral. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like getting dressed make you feel like that's the trauma and how deep that joint go in them hoods, like. Yeah, like, yeah, shit. because it, it, it's usually attached to a status, wow. man. And it's a status that we not used to. Yeah, court. Because, the, yeah, that's the mindset. Yeah, shit, court, court. You know what I'm saying? It's a status that we not used to. Funeral, right. That's all where, we know. I ain't never seen a nigga dressed up and yeah. going there. Yeah, exactly. See, I mean, from from where we from, from, from yeah. but from where other people is from, that's normal. That's business attire. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm yeah. saying? So that's a mindset. And I brought that yeah. up to 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 say. So that, does that inspire a lot of the the the, 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 the griminess in the music? Because I know it did when I did music. Yeah. You know, and now years later, y'all rapping now. Yeah. And y'all music is like one would look at it and be like, man. They crazy, but mm -hmm. a lot of times y'all paint the picture that's reality. Yeah, it's just perspective. It's just our perspective of shit. Like, like I know me personally, I don't even rap. I don't even say nothing in my music that I ain't literally been a part of doing or seen it or you feel me, right? Oh, I did. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Even money, I don't even snout and yeah. snatching in my music. I ain't yeah. right. rapping about no kind of drove. Right. Yeah, I ain't yeah, doing yeah, none yeah, of that yeah, type yeah, of yeah, shit. Yeah. Right. Right. I know for me personally, yeah. I just get my perspective and my music of what I think and how I think about shit, you know what I mean? Because a lot of rappers, like, like in our era, a lot of rappers fantasized. Yeah. They sold it, mm -hmm. you know. They, they rocked about the nigga on the block. You know, they right. eventually they got money. Yeah, they just but, had the skills to paint the picture. Mm -hmm. Bulletproof glasses with <laughs> E-classes with, with bulletproof yeah. E-classes with yeah, more yeah. the glasses. Yeah. You know, they and, said all that, and, 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 and if it was true, they, they wouldn't they have got it. shot. Now, later on, right. they had enough to buy it, but, you know, we know the reality. Right. But a lot of the rappers now, like, y'all, they all literally rapping about the grind, the good, bad, and ugly of it. Yeah. And it's going sure. down like that. Yeah, but... I want to back up a minute before I go into to the rap you know, and your name, how you came up with the name or mm -hmm. whatever. I, and being that you was at college and everything, yeah. and we, we already established that you yeah. smart. Yeah. But I got to ask the obvious. With your height, man, you won't play no ball or nothing. You won't yeah. play, I mean, what's going Because uh, cause when yeah. you roll up, I'm like, boom. I mean, hey, crazy bro. tall, man. Listen, bro, I played football <laughs> in high school. I played for like a year and a half. I, I quit on the second year. <laughs> yeah. I go two touchdowns, so I feel like I, I accomplished football. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I realized I won't go into the league. Like, right. All, yeah, yeah. all, all, the, See, all the niggas on my team were D1 smart. prospects. They went D1. I right. knew I wasn't giving my life. Them niggas played football all, all day long. I'm yeah. not doing that. I'm going to the club. <laughs> I'm, you know, I was in a club in high school, bro. Right, right. When I'm 15, yeah. bro. So yeah. I ain't giving my life to no sports, bro. So you Don't can't hoop? You, you can't hoop? Man, I you can't hoop <laughs> I, ain't, I can't even dribble for real. I, like, I, I, I can't dunk. I, can't. I told you it. Six four. You six four. Dunk, you can't bro. dunk. Come, come on, guy, crazy bro. man. Six four. You know what come I mean? Come on, crazy. All my niggas beat me about this. Bro. Everybody beat me about this. Bro. I can't dunk. Yeah, I had to ask that, that man, because I just said myself, I'm yeah. like, man, hold on, man. Crazy when the car is crazy tall, is it crazy like, slim? He is shaped like. Off and nothing. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Okay. So so look, all right, so we going to the rap game. Where the name come from? First first and foremost, yeah. I know we, we you know, you smart, so you figured yeah. that, you know, I could put these words together. I can I you know what I'm saying, yeah, by yeah. watching rap or whatever, yeah. and you, you said, Well, I can do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that too. I feel like an intelligent mind can do anything he yeah. set his mind oh. to. Mm -hmm. So we know did you feel like you can do it, but then where the name come from and how did you just like get started? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like in my neighborhood like we used to sit in like Wendy's all day for no reason, just chilling. And niggas a beat on the table. And I'm the one that's gonna rap. Everybody, go ahead. Like, I'm gonna be the one rapping. So right. Like, we been knew how to rap, you feel me? Right. 
in school, like I say, my man's had a, a, a dorm room with a studio inside of. So I just recorded every day for real and I went from there. But the name came from a group, like a group of me and my homeboys, like five of us. And one of them was from Berkeley. His name Lil Richard, but we, we, everybody out there called him Young Crazy. Right. When he got, we was YCN, Young Crazy Niggas. Right, all okay. Inside. We used to just do crazy shit, have parties, do a bunch of wild shit. But we all called each other Young Crazy. Like our names was, my name was Young Crazy Ray Ray. Like my name Ray Ray for real. Okay, okay. Young Crazy Chris, Young Crazy Exclusive, Kwan. exclusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> Young Crazy Kwan, Young Crazy Chris, Young Crazy Lil Rich, but we all called each other Young Crazy. Young Crazy, so yeah. I started rapping though. I'm not finna make my name. Back then, yeah. I ain't know you you could have a long ass name. Hey, right. Right. They didn't even got long ass names. Man, name. they oh, was yeah. doing, hey look. They got all type of shit. Yeah. Man, but, crazy names yeah, too. Yeah, so I just was like, Young Crazy. I wasn't finna do Young Crazy Ray Ray. Like, right, right. So I just did Young Crazy. And I was okay. the only one that rapped, so. I just put yeah. it on for the whole and, game. Yeah, you yeah. putting on for them, yeah. the young crazy brand carrying on. Oh yeah. So, so. Well, so, we yeah. well, we already know, man. Like I say, when you got into it, you know, you took off whatever, and you started to see your little buzz. What was the first uh, song right there? Like people started saying, "Hold on, hold on, let's let me, let's check this young crazy out." Get down. Get down. <laughs> get down. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. That shit was like uh, I dropped it like 2013. It got crazy about 2015. Okay. 2014. I pushed it, but like. Two different projects. I'm putting that same song on the same project, pushing one song. Anywhere I go, I ain't playing no other song but this one song. Right, because you yeah. believe in the song that much. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, because every type of person was liking it. I'm talking about I done played it for my white homeboys, I done played it for the hood, and then I done played yeah. it for the college girls and shit. Everybody, everybody liked, it. liked it. Everybody piping that shit up, and then it just got big as hell. So. And it be like that, though. Sometimes you could. You could put something out, man, and it, and it, you know it could be it could be good. It could be you know like that. It could be something that's gonna be, be everlasting, mm -hmm. and people don't catch on right away. Yeah, they don't and, yeah. yeah, and the example, yeah, yeah, the example that, that I yeah. yeah, the example that I take from that is just like the um I think I don't know. He used to be the best selling uh, author in the United States. He might still be or uh, John Grissom, but a lot of people don't know it. He put that book out. The first book he ever wrote was A Time to Kill. Mm -hmm. That Jones sat on the shelf for like three to five years. He yeah. wrote another book, The Firm, and that took off. They went back, back and accepted back the in. book. Yeah, the book, and that was that's one of his biggest movies. That's yeah. one that resonated with black people more than anything. Yeah. But but he had wrote that book and put that. That was the first book he ever wrote. Yeah. So you know that's kind of like your music. You got to if you believe in it, then it's up to you to make the rest of the people believe in. It. You know what I'm saying? So that Jones right there got you going. So yeah. then you you locked it in your mind. I mean, look, this is the path I'm gonna go. Yeah. yeah. So, and I, it just it just got to the point where it was too lit. Like everywhere I was going, like everybody like that's the song getting played. They playing it in the club. They playing it in the hood. Like everybody was on it. Right. So I just kept going from there. So 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 I want to turn your attention to um, the recent, you know, murders of rappers lately, and mm -hmm. and this this your, your opinion on this. Um, check in thing going out of town and all of this mm -hmm. we you believe um the artists are targeted now or or, or, or um, is it overblown or, or is it you know what i mean because every every time somebody is murdered we know it's um it's circumstances surrounded yeah and some of it is just you know uh random you know straight scratch your head type situations but sometimes it could be the circumstances that that brought about about these uh, uh, incidents as well. So, yeah. what do you think about? It's a it's a it, it go both mentally to me. Like, yeah, it's for it's for rappers. Like, cause one thing about a rapper, you are a public figure. You yeah, host where you're gonna be. Yeah, you you people know you for that. Like, they yeah. know, you already know you. It's rather it's different than in the hood. Like in the hood, yeah, if certain people come around flash or whatever, they might get something done to them. That's yeah. growing up, you seen that. Yeah. So I can't just say rappers. It happened to every person who. Yeah has more than others type of stuff. But where the kind of rappers is, if I got feel like all the time people randomly can walk up to me and I can't just say back the fuck up. Mm -hmm. I gotta it might be somebody showing me love. Right. Yeah. That's the disadvantage of life off yeah. the rip. Yeah. Right. Yeah, then people already expect you to have the money on you, having your jewelry on and stuff, cause that's what they want you to do. If you ain't doing that, they don't even want to salute you as a rapper. So it's exactly. like, damn, I got to do this thing exactly. to, to tell you my career right. Right? for these minded people, for these folks. So it's just a gift and a curse. But the way that a lot of, like, a lot of them been dying, though, like, yeah, it's been OD, though. Like, I don't know. They, I don't know. 
it, it's, it's, yeah, it's, that's my OG. Because they be suspecting you not to just want to be a regular person, too. Like, so why was he eating there? And I understand, like, yeah, you shouldn't be eating there. But yeah. it's like, damn, I'm from here. I used to yeah. eat anywhere in my neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. Now I can't do this no more. Like, it sounds easier than what it is. It, shouldn't, yeah, it should like, not even be on that type of time, for real, yeah. though, man. Because when you really look at it, man, it's like taking things, like, back to, to you know, slavery days where, you know, black people couldn't eat certain places. But now it's just, it's the same thing, but just in a different thing now. Yeah, certain, certain type of people can't. You know, do certain things. Our celebrities can't do certain things, but yeah. it is. It, 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 it has always been a, a a part of of you know being famous. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You lose you you lose a lot of your you yeah. know what I'm saying your alone time. You you lose a lot of that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But then at the same time, yeah, they realize. get yeah they get the perks and the benefits from it too. But that part right there, you know, I, I feel like once you do get famous, a lot of people want to get famous and they want to be known all over. But then when they get it, yeah. they realize what comes they with sacrifice. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Take, to take me. Some shit away. For it goes like. back to what I always say, the sicknesses of our consciousness. The sickness, man, because it's a us thing, if you think about it. No, that's a fact. You know, I because, say that too. I say because that you know, white artists travel all day long and yeah. they don't have to check in. Yeah, the check you in know, thing, that's something, uh, that's something uh, um, different, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, that's why I say it's a sickness of us yeah. and it's a cowardness of us. Uh -huh. I always take it there because like it's easy, it's, it feels comfortable to prey on each other, I mm -hmm. guess, you know? And I can say that from experience because I was that guy before, mm -hmm. right? But I never thought about leaning on uh, Justin Bieber or none yeah, of them well, I, I when they claim the same. Mm -hmm. I never thought about yeah, yeah, the yeah, crazy thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They don't even, the you know what I mean? They yeah. don't even, you know, yeah. uh, uh, finding where Taylor Swift and them, when they're going to be in town exactly. and, and, and plotting on them. I never ever thought about that. that. Like, but you know what? You know, I always thought about. We always plot, thought, think about the next brother that looks just like us, mm -hmm. and it feels so natural to go and do something to you. But that's right. embedded from like bro, slavery. That's the sickness. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's the they sickness. They never have. They won't go. You won't go on against. Yeah. Old buddy who own the exactly. house. They won't gonna do that. And, and, but, they but, not even looking at. They don't even. Right. They gonna look at. But they guess gonna look what? Down on the next nigga who look like them. That but, shit come from. But that guess time, what? Bro. Like, it's the sickness of our consciousness. Cause even in slavery, right? During the time of slavery, even when we had a chance to be jealous and envy. We ain't plot and kill each other yeah. and plot on each other even then. Right. Yeah. Think about it. We didn't do that then. Shit, I think we I th stuck together more yeah, then yeah, because did. when they you did. got they whooped, did. I felt your pain. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't plot. Yeah, you and, right. and Even the house, nigga, we ain't plot and just knock them off every five minutes. Yeah. yeah. But right? I think. So, but I, that, that consciousness was developed through the years. Yeah. And I think you know, that check in thing, in the 60s, too. We, we marched and we was together. We That consciousness yeah. came about. You know, later but that check-in thing, man. When you saying about the people too, though, and when you look at it, you right. That is that is a hard dynamic to look at. Is why you know you just to bring up the names, like you said, Justin Bieber and them dudes. Like, that. but see, I think too, is 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 more to that dynamic as well too, because of the simple fact that. I don't think that even the, you know us as, as as being a people too, we we ain't moving the way we should be moving. Exactly. And what I say by that is, okay, a dude like Justin Bieber ain't got to check in. You know, besides the fact that he white and famous, but he probably gonna have an entourage of people with him. See what I'm saying? Yeah. He, but, but he he ain't got to check in because ain't nobody gonna do nothing to him because these people praying on the weak. Because all they, what? Eight okay, right? Like, because, yeah. because we fear his have entourage. Made it, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, sir. Okay, so you telling me? No, sir. Or, or yeah. he may have oh, that. Yeah, but that's right. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's so, 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 okay, we fear his his, his entourage. No, oh yeah, they're not gonna we move. We You yeah. already know his entourage. Okay, so tell me this. It's straight soft Listen, but they, eyes. but it don't matter. It's the optics. It's yeah. the optics. You see what I'm saying? And that's the same thing with what's the name? Floyd, Floyd Mayweather gonna go in the way he wanna go, in the city he wanna go, he ain't gonna yeah. check in, cause he gonna have, he gonna have some, some entourage with him that's gonna take whatever coming. Well, you he, see what I'm saying? Smart. Some of us are not police. wise. Some right. of us are not wise. Okay, then. He's, he's, okay. He's, he's All smart right. enough to hire All right, listen people to that, they want that smoke. All right, but listen what you're they, saying, they when you say, when you say, okay then, so, so when these dudes know that this is what's going on right they, now, they need to, get they need to be that's smarter right. and move that's smarter. That's if you that, move that's smarter, that's what we going. That's reality. Yeah, that's what we yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, you can't, you yeah. That's reality. That's yeah. reality. Okay, like, so whether it's wrong or right, if this is reality, you yeah, got to yeah, play yeah, by reality. Yeah, that's you right. got to play exactly. by reality. So if you say, I'm feeling like, oh, I'm scared, do what you're supposed to do to be smart. 
Yeah, there you go. There hard. you go. That's my if point. You got the money that's like what I'm pointing because I'm saying to myself, okay, if I'm in this rap game, right, and I'm seeing that they killing people and they talking about some checking in, and I'm saying to myself, I ain't checking in nothing. But when I hit your city. I'm be ready for whatever you got coming. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? What I I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna bring, I'm bring, I'm bring my crew. Of that checking in shit. I don't even think it's checking in. If I go to New York tomorrow, I'm gonna call my homeboys that's in New York. Yeah, right. But that's, that's what they call it. But I'm gonna holler at my man's anyway. I'm gonna holler at my man's anyway. Right. Man's yeah. anyway. right. But they trying to put it as if you got to call a certain but person. I ain't calling yeah, no nah. certain <laughs> people because y'all feel like this y'all city. Because we seen with takeoff that look. Stuff happens sometimes yeah. and it's out of your control. control. Sometimes, listen, you can't control that trigger and, and, and that finger that dude got over there. Well, I just, sometimes it get out of your well, control. I, I just got out here so enlighten me. Let me know who 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 got killed that ain't checking. I mean, who they say well, oh, that's why he got killed because he ain't checking. Who who they talking about? Who where, exactly. where's the where's the evidence of that they didn't? Yeah, they, 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 yeah, yeah. Where the like, evidence? They trying to. You I could have got known by the nigga you checked exactly. in with. Yeah. yeah, but they are not like So this whole on. narrative is but, out but, there but that if you don't check in, you won't check in. You know? got killed. That's you know what I'm saying? You know? So it, it, that shit just, yeah. it's just the way of the culture right now. And check. you got to beware of the way of the culture right now. It ain't no wrong or right. It could have stemmed from 400 years ago of bullshit, but it just, this is what it is now. This is what yeah. it you is. You ain't going to change it by yourself and your own mind, nah. so you need to just play this shit the right nah. way. But like I said, check in to me, man. If I got a few million dollars, and I'm coming to the city, and I know some people that I know that's willing to bust them jokes and make sure I'm, I get up out of here. Then uh, that's checking in to me, and I'm bringing some people with me that want all yeah. the smoke. But it, 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 it's when you really look at, but when you look at the whole thing, it's asinine though, because you know. First of all, if you ain't beefing with nobody, why should you even have to worry about somebody doing something to you? Yeah, but that's, that's, a, that's, that's the sickness that's, that's, of that's our that's people. That's, that's, that's crazy. Because they go off on beefing with nobody. Yeah, yeah. but that's they crazy. They say go on gambling the or nothing. That's the whole point. If you're not beefing with nobody, why would you have to secure somebody or, or some type of you know to. safety you for somebody to do nothing to you? That's just crazy, man. And like you said, they're not going to rob. They're not going to rob. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you better bet they ain't. You know what I'm saying? Because they know everybody gonna scream bloody murder yeah, well, you see what i'm shit. saying but you know with that topic and everything let's, let's get to this crazy music man so you know i know you done did a whole lot of music man and you done did a whole lot of uh features and, and uh collabos man you know just talk about how you got into that man and, and you know what what ones you know the yeah, resonated so you your collab, mind. some of the collabs you have done yeah, so. and, and, and where you want your and where do you want your career to go where do you what, what is your goal with this you know what I'm saying? What's your end game? Like, so at the like beginning of like probably like 2016, I started finally like doing features with Beyond My Reason and stuff. Like I started doing songs with a lot of other people. So I, I went to Atlanta one time. I was at Started Low House, and I ended up doing a song with 21 Savage at Hot Beat Studio out there. I mm. get a song with him. Okay. This early in his career, like super early. So I got shit with him. I got shit with. I got songs with Young School. I got songs with so many people that I don't yeah, even yeah. remember. Yeah, yeah. Like, Ice I, I, World, I got my new on my new stuff. I got with Ice World. Okay. I got it's a bunch of people for it. I just can't even think right now. Like, right. but it's a lot of artists I didn't work with. A lot of songs that ain't came out yet too. So right. it's yeah. a lot of stuff. But yeah, I, I just be working for real. I just be so you you independent? Me. Yeah, I'm independent. I'm independent. I was with an independent label a few years back. It was called D1. And it was a DMV based label like me, Will the Rapper, Ben Hunter, Izzy, uh, Shorty Shorty, uh, Take Cobain and us. But that label like dissolved, they, they ain't nobody with that no more. They all dissolved at the same time. So mm -hmm. everybody else just kind of, we just branched out to our own thing, but we still like a, you know, they still my niggas and shit. Right. You know what I mean? But yeah. So if it was one artist you, you would want to collab with, who would it be? Gucci Man. Gooch. Gooch. Yeah, yeah. Gooch. I grew up all Gooch. Like, that's, that was yeah. where all my inspiration came from. Yeah. Like, the, like okay. first it was 50 Cent. Like, I, I jumped up the porch with a 50 Cent album. I, yeah. I rode my bike to John Stevenson and brought that album when it came out. I was like 12. And that shit Oh, that's crazy you that mentioned 50. Me I was thinking I was gritty uh, to the last point. Because everybody wanted to kill 50 at one point. <laughs> yeah. 50 ain't checking in. Yeah. And when everyone know 50 had them bulletproof uh, vehicles for real, yeah. that vest on, and he had them, them them dudes that wanted that smoke. Yeah. So so shout out to 50 because yeah. he lived it, been through it. He showed y'all the roadmap. 
Man, he he made it, it through it. He survived. Nigga For sure. He might have. He yeah, hear the talk really about it. If he really down, he might have made it help help add to the bullshit in this culture. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. That era, I don't know, that shit had me. That joke was crazy. I thought yeah. I was the toughest little boy in the world. I was yeah. the guy. <laughs> and then it went crazy. from that time of my life to Gucci Man. Like, Gucci Man gave Gucci, me like, yeah. I don't know, bro was just a crazy, but he was like, you know, like, Gucci he's confident. Seen real, he's a confident nigga. Real, like, he seemed like a real dude. Yeah, he is. And, and like, genuine dude. So, so he put that confidence in me. I lived with the shit he was saying and the way he carried it. That shit made me who I am. I ain't gonna lie. We're gonna make that happen. Gucci, 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 Mike. We yeah. gotta make that yeah. happen. So, you and young Craig. Yeah. So, 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 have you, have, I, I mean, you, being that you're independent, you, you, you are seeking a deal. If, if uh, the deal is right, you you trying to get on with, yeah. with a label or something, right? For sure, the, for the machine, it's either like this. I used to be like, nah, because I didn't did the independent for a minute. And it'd be cool, but the machine. Now, the it's like either boy. either I want the machine. Like I done had deals on the table. I ain't never take them. Though. I never want it because either the machine won't talk about nothing or yeah. the bread won't talk about nothing. Yeah. It ain't no in between. I'm going to get one of them. Yeah. I take a a low money deal for a big machine deal. Right. And yeah, I'll yeah. take a no machine deal for that bag. Cause right. I know what to do with money now. Like yeah. I'm right. good. I don't, fuck the music. You give me a certain amount of money, I'm gonna be good for the rest yeah. of my life. Right. I know yeah. what to do with some money. Yeah. So it's one or the other. But yeah. other than that, I can just do it how I'm doing it and collect my own fucking money, my goddamn stuff. So. Okay, but and I feel you on that because like I say, we already established because you're smart. Yeah. yeah right. For sure. For sure. But you know what I'm sure. saying? <laughs> but look, but but have you been like you say, Gucci. Gucci is one of your biggest influences. You know, Gucci signed the people. Now Gucci got a label. Have you yeah. been proactive in trying to, yeah, you know, yeah. put I your, did, you I know, what Gucci. Pull I didn't up. Did, I didn't did a little shit. Young you know. crazy. You know, I like I met him before and shit at Rolling Loud. I had performed at Rolling Loud years ago, and for my birthday, Amina, his manager is like my big sister, Amina right. Diop. She in Atlanta. Uh, she introduced, let me go to the restaurant and met him and shit. You know what I mean? So it was cool and shit. How I let him for a little second and then. They were regular shit. Though. Yeah, but he, but but during that time, he, what, what's the name of his label? I forget his number. Seventeen. Okay, yeah, yeah, but he did he had that popping then? Was he, you know what I'm saying? Because right now, when I see, like I say, I he keep up with rap. Yeah, he, he he active, he active <laughs> yeah. in that joint. He active in yeah. because that seemed to be the new wave now. You got him signing people. You got a uh, yo guy is signing people. Yeah. They they actively now trying to really take this stuff back to like the bad boy days and yeah. the death row days. Gang. Yeah, these dudes. Yeah, they trying to build an entourage yeah. so they can take over take over. The spot. Yeah. Somebody gonna rise to the top. It's gonna be yeah. bad boy, death row. Somebody yeah. gonna rise to the top. Even they just bought death row back. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, they sign people with that sign and stuff. It just it be yeah. just you know it, know it go hand in hand with the work enough. with the work I'm putting out and how I'm moving and how am I gaining the attention of what somebody else may be looking for. You know, I think the game had changed from when I started. Like right. mm -hmm. so, it's like what people looking for now. I behind the light. Go against like I done it. Gotta go against certain shit that I don't even fuck with. Like yeah. I ain't that type of dude. Like I ain't finna be. I'm not. I'm. I ain't nothing wrong with. It. I know you're supposed to. Yeah. But I don't do this. Right. right. I don't do this. I, I can't yeah. show my. I, I don't know why. Yeah. I, it could be some interesting shit going on. Right. I right. Be afforded. <laughs> yeah. I get, I might go buy the expensive, crazy outfit. I don't take no pictures. Right. Like, it's a bunch of shit that you must do to continue on going yeah. on. Yeah, and yeah. I ain't, yeah. at first when I start rapping, yeah. it just had to be hard. Yeah, I yeah. Some hard yeah. shit. Like, yeah. Now, fuck, yeah. everybody it's got image, hard shit. Image, now. Yeah, it's, it's image. Like image yeah. and all that. But so I'm trying to get out. It's, I'm it's trying to get too. used to it. Too. I got to get used Coming to it. Home, you feel me? Like, and I've been out here. And I, make I sure you take some pictures and all this. I'm trying to get used to it too. Like, it takes getting used to. Yeah. Because it's so fake on land. Like, it's just so yeah. fake. Like, I, sh I be outside in real life. I be in the club. I be everywhere all over the country in real life. Why am I got to show this Instagram fake? Word? Like, that shit be fake to me. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, yeah. I don't want to show y'all like my day-to-day. -day. I'm experiencing this. They, like, like concerts, now everybody just record this shit. Yeah. Like, bro, I'm not going to experience this concert, bro. Yeah. I'm not here to show y'all the experience. I'm here to experience the, the motherfucker. The concert, yeah. What fuck recording? I don't yeah. even see it again or nothing. <laughs> yeah. I'm here, like. So I just be, I don't know, shit be a little different, though. <laughs> but see, well, being a rapper, I already know the answer to this question, but I want you to explain it because it's mm -hmm. something I want to say about it. But being a rapper, I know that that, that alone, anytime you got to be on stage, Anytime you got to be in front of cameras, anytime you got to do any of that type of stuff, man, mm -hmm. it takes a certain level of confidence. Yeah. So you feel like, you know, you confident. Your confident level is whereas to you can get on the track with anybody, and yeah. you gonna and you gonna do what you do. 
It ain't been a time I ain't got on a song with a nigga and ain't snap. Yeah. I ain't gonna say I killed them, but I know they ain't killed me. Yeah, yeah. I know I had it on my own. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm yeah. rapping that ass nigga now, yeah. so I know. But <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm one of them niggas that, you know, in the hood, every rapper now these days. I ain't no rap nigga, bro. Why the, you in the studio, you recording. You yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, rapper. yeah, yeah. That's the definition. Me personally, I'm a rapper. By I'm definition. Yeah, yeah, by definition. I'm a rapper. Yeah. What's your occupation? A rapper. Yeah. Yeah. When I gotta go get a bond at the jump. I'm a rapper. Yeah. Entertainment business LSU right yeah. here. Yeah. I'm a rapper. So yeah. Yeah. that's what I do, bro. Like I ain't my confidence yeah. there. I know I'm and a And it's snob. a legit business. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. For sure. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, when your but when you when you got your confidence level on that, man, then I I, I was telling uh catch earlier, man, we was talking, man, and you know, just like me getting into this YouTube thing. Mm -hmm. To me, what I found out about it, man, and I see from what I looked at, at you know, at your work, because I done looked at your work on, mm -hmm. on, on online and everything. Yeah. I'm a fan of your work. I think you, you be you be getting it in. Mm -hmm. But it's work ethic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what that's what you got to have. It's that yeah. consistency. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't stopped working since I've been into Not this stuff. Sure. Cause yeah. I'm trying to learn stuff every day and keep doing stuff every day. And I don't even stop to, you know, check the flowers out. Oh man, you got on here, you got on now, I just keep on going. Yeah. It's over. That's yesterday. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm looking for the next one. You see, see what I'm and saying? This my yeah. logic and th and this like this be my logic too, and that's why I tell a lot of people who be trying to start rapping like for for years, like for me to have got to where I got to, that shit was not off no money being spent. Right. That shit was all off me working Work. hard, being Work outside, grit. linking with people, networking, consistency for a long, I'm talking about at least five years, Man. bro, consistent, heavy. Yep. After a while, I realized that all this needed, all this in the pot of me working hard and getting where I'm going, right. it needed that money through into that yeah. shit. You feel me? Yeah. So I'm thinking like, like I'm doing the same shit, I'm hitting the crazy shit, good shit going on. I'm like, why the hell this shit ain't blowing up? Like I'm doing this shit with nothing. Right. And then I realize it's the money, the marketing, what you put into it, the branding, the, the, the branding. Branding. it's gonna I bet. expand you. Oh, so nigga need money to put into that genre, right? Yeah. I bet you need to go get some motherfucking money, my boy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> now when you gotta go get some motherfucking money for that, if you can do both, you are a blessed ass man. Mm -hmm. If you can just. Find a way to get a whole lot of money and find a way to stay consistent, work hard, keep your shit flowing, networking. You are a gifted man. Yeah, for sure. And that shit be hard on me sometimes. I be having to step over here to do what I got to do for that business while I get my yeah. money and then come back over here and get heavy right. on that at and once get, and do it the right way. Yeah. Go back and go back. Anybody who don't need that, who got the backing or the team and yeah. shit, then you are a blessed individual. But most don't. And that's why I tell rappers who be rapping in daylight. Bro, you can wrap your ass off, but if you ain't finna, and that shit don't work like that, unless you got a gimmick. Exactly. Yeah, and and and, and exactly. speaking of gimmicks, that's what I see too. That's what so I see. Too many gimmicks. There's so a lot many. of yeah. I don't have one. Bro. They got I'm in the not, game with the gimmick. You mm. gotta either be the super like for we urban rapper. I'm yeah. an urban rapper. So for urban rapper, for the world to love you and pick up to your shit, you are gonna either be a super gangster. Mm -hmm. The background better stamp it. The music niggas better know about it. You gonna be the super gangster, and right. you gonna wear that. Or you're gonna be the super rich nigga. Mm -hmm. You're gonna really be popping it, the hoes love you because you're a spender. Yeah, 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 you're yeah. balling yeah. out in the club. Yeah. Or you're gonna sing, dance, or eat right. something else. Right. Yeah. Bro, I'm not coming like the super rich nigga because even if I was, I ain't telling y'all. I'm not gonna tell y'all I'm the super gangster because I'm not trying to run into all the other super gangsters. That's right, right. you go with the shit. Right. I'm not singing, dancing, or doing none of that. Right. So it'd be like, God damn, crazy, what the fuck are you gonna do? Keep grinding, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's what it be, bro. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna just mix. I guess I mix all of it some way, somehow. Gumbo pot. But they put you in a situation. That, but that's what's going on. If you really look at all the rappers that's blowing up, that's what they be doing. But see, you might have to carve. Yeah, yeah but every. every you like, might have to carve your own nice lane, suit. man. You might have to yeah, carve your I know. own and, lane. And that be yeah. the catch to it. That be the, the smart rapper. You, know you know what I'm saying? Man, yeah. Banky yeah. be listening to him, and they, they be as hard as don't know. We be like, oh yeah. And I be yeah, like trying tough, to huh? be trying yeah. to. Yeah. That's yeah. what yeah. I be yeah. saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. y'all yeah. hard. Yeah, y'all yeah. hard as yeah. hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, I like hard to the point where it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Why you want to be that hard? Why you want to be that hard? Yeah, you can't be that hard. I ain't never on um, the world understood. love it though. Yeah, but they yeah. the, love the, it. The youth love it, bro. They right. love that they nigga love for being it. that. But then they get stuck on or get locked up and they like, oh, then they say, then they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, or or they say, I knew it was going to happen. 
I knew it wasn't gonna happen. Yeah. But y'all was loving and supporting the fuck out of this book. Yeah. Like, yeah. And that's what Ed get on. That's what Ed get on when they get the, when they get the attention from it. That's what Ed get on. That's what make them think that, oh yeah, this is what I gotta uphold. This is what mm-hmm. I gotta, you know what I'm saying? Ain't too many, like you just brought up 50, ain't too many dudes got, got away with what 50 did. Nothing. Ain't too many Hell dudes no. got you, it ain't no real yeah. longevity or no surviving. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 the, great, the grace of God had to save him. So you you know what I'm saying? So and that became a trend. Dudes felt like they had to get shot to be, you know what I'm saying? You know, so it, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it ain't never did no time. I don't want to do that either. Yeah, you definitely don't want to do that. that I don't yeah. want to feel yeah. them bitches yeah. either. Absolutely like, not. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, so how, old, how old are you now, man? I'm 30. I just 30. 30. 10, 7, 30. You still, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You, you, you. So you got a long career. You young bro. to who you ask. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you young to you, who you, you ask. Yeah, 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 you wait, definitely. Wait, wait, yeah. As they call us old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And nah, people used to call me old. Call me big bro. Like man, you. They call old. me. They call I'm me the young old dude. I'm the young old dude. Young old dude. Yeah. Old. Then I had to pause and I told one of y'all and I said, yeah. I said, I guess you would say I'm old when, yeah. when y'all dying ain't making it to thirty. I guess I do say you old. You know what I mean? I said, I would seem old to you. But y'all, the goal would, for you to make it to be old. Yeah, absolutely. For somebody to call you old, that's an achievement. Man, I guess. that most definitely is because it beats the alternative, you know, not getting old at all. Yeah. But man, look, <laughs> we, we, so, so, and wrapping this up, man, you know what I'm saying? I want to know, like, you know, you know, put it out there, man. You Sometimes you got to speak things into existence, man. Yeah, for sure. You know 2023. what I'm saying? 2023. What's your what goal doing? in 2023? What, do, what are you trying to accomplish in 2023? You know what I'm saying? You have, to, me, I would suggest, you know what I'm saying, believing, believing in yourself. I know you already do. I believe you should set a plan, man, when you say, man, you know, I'm going I'm to get here, I'm going to get there, I'm going to reach here, I'm going to get my music to this, that, and the third, and by the end, boom, this is what I expect to happen. Not I believe sure. the mind is the strongest thing on earth, man. Once you lock that in your mind that that's what you're going to do, then all you have to do is take the steps and the preparation to do that, man. And I believe when you when you go on a plan like that, man, anything is possible. Nah, for sure. That's what I've been doing, though. That's what I've been doing for, like, the past year, for real. I've just been planning it, for real. Still kind of giving them what they need, you know what I mean? But I've been planning it. So coming this year, I'm going to go crazy, like, yeah, like I was doing that and just keep building the brand and building the numbers and building you feel me because like I say independent you can still get it to a point to where you don't need a label yeah like, for yeah. sure hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Young Mo. yeah shout out to yeah. young Mo, my young little bro yeah for sure for like and I, and I ain't gonna lie like my my shit be like that shit do good yeah but it's like I know like I want to take it to that highest level absolutely so whereas like a label is looking at fuck all that I want them to be able to say business wise this shit yeah, we, yeah, 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 this can works. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you can yeah. do an M yourself, yeah. we can take it to 10 M together. Easy. You feel me? We can go yeah. five and five yeah. on the 10. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah easy. See, I mean, we easy. want to be motivation, man. Living life after life is, I did 26 years, eight months. He did 30, 30 plus years. We're trying to show that after doing life, after being beside the graveyard so long, right? Yeah. That you can come out here and reach whatever goal you want to reach. For sure. Nothing is, can stop you. No excuse. For sure. Like, and we here as motivation, like, these ain't two guys that made up nothing like, like I did day for day, he did day for day. Mm-hmm. You know? I ain't never told nothing. They know who did the situation. It yeah. is what it is. Yeah, for sure. And I had to do the time. Yeah, for sure. But after doing that time, man, I want to be an example uh, 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 day in, day out that, man, when you get down, or you feel in a dark place, or it feel like everything ain't working, you can think of, man, look at Catch, man. Look at Banky Pound, man. Look at what them dudes doing after they counted us out and set us beside a graveyard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never counted out till you count yourself out, man. Exactly. Like I say, sure. I've been out here two years, man, and I've been grinding every day. I hit the ground grinding, man. You know what I'm saying? So I know for a fact, man, that, you know, it, it could be done. Yeah, you know, and sure. I'm just starting. I ain't, so I ain't, I ain't even started. taking my feet off the gas. Yeah, but, man, we're going to be looking for you in 2023, man. We're going to yeah, bring you back crazy. on this podcast, sure. man, yeah. in, in, in a year or something, man. And we're going to see your progress. Shoot, yeah, oh, 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 for sure. Like so, like so that's the plan, man. 2023, crazy going crazy. Yeah, you understand? Going crazy. <laughs> crazy going crazy. should name that to next album. Crazy going crazy. Crazy going crazy. That's a Oh, and one more question before we get out here, man. On, on, on your on your Instagram, man, it, it, it's a uh, crazy old crazy old Dan. What that mean? What what that stand for? I start 
not saying it so much in my songs that people don't even call me young crazy no more. Okay, they okay. Crazy yeah. down. When niggas see me, they crazy or down. Like, that's yeah, just, okay. That's just what I've been saying to my okay. songs. That's an ad lib. But okay. That's my name now, for real. Well, shout out, yeah. shout out all your platforms, man. Yeah. Tell them where they can get your, yeah, music. They can get your music. Tell them where, where they, they can, can see you at. at man. You know, yeah. everywhere. Well, young Crazy 110, man. On, on any Apple Music, any platform, you can go to type in Young Crazy. It's up there. Young Crazy 110 on all social media. I mean, all right, man. Outside in the world, you might can find me too. I'll be outside. He be outside. <laughs> hey, look, we gonna do something. I tell you, we need. We should have did the last time, man. We gonna start doing that, man. With Mo, like we should did with Mo. We should have did it with Push and everything, man. We gonna go out, man. With um, with you spitting one of your one of your bars, man. We gonna go out okay. with that. Okay. So put some on their mind so they can be start, ready for. Before you start, shout out to Norfolk State, my man Lati, and, and the crew, and the crew, the crew, y'all. Shout out to my man Greg, man, brand news, man. Y'all go support. Hey, I am Troy Catchmore. Find me, Banky Pound. Already Banky TBP, y'all already know what it is. We out here, man. We Young we, crazy. Yeah, Take if you if away. you a part of TBP, man, you need to be with this Living Life I Like podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, Young Crazy. Let's see. I got a bag and stay humble. I'm unbeatable. I tried to help a couple of niggas, they unteachable. Lazy nigga vibes in the air, it's unbreathable. I keep catching flights cause I enjoy being unreachable. Mm. <laughs> mm. Nice vibe to the mm. top on my land dropper. No passengers in the coupe, just a hand chopper. No Batmans around here, a bunch of damn rod man. They gonna dance after they score like they Chad Johnson. Oh. <laughs> I got shit for don't everybody. stop them, don't, don't stop them. Keep killing Keep killing them. Keep, we going all the way out with it. Hey, we going all the way out with it, crazy what? Hit them, hit them. I don't need, I can't even think of them bars right now. That's the crazy part about it. They oh. caught me on the spot. Man. Yeah, the spot, yeah, man. that's how you do. Yeah, Put them on the spot, young life crazy. Y'all go check them out, man. We living life after life podcast, man. We out here, man. Peace. Oh, 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 don't go. Until you credit up. Why you need credit? Seven, 12 years goes by and you don't even get a chance to go up for parole. Supposed to die so many times, guess that's my afterlife. A lot of shit ain't work for me.